Hi gang, in this video I'm repairing my husband's Samsung S10e. Our dog chewed it up so the LCD doesn't work anymore and I just bought a replacement LCD to, um, to get it working again essentially. And I had already removed the glass bag, um, which I broke in the process of doing that. Yeah, so now I'm removing all the screws from the plast uh, black plastic parts in the back of the phone. Here is the broken glass back. He had this in the uh, blue variant. I think it was called Coral Blue. I'm prying the plastic parts off the back of the phone. Um, that, I think, is the wireless charger. Okay, now I'm releasing the flex cable for the battery. And also removing the flex cable for the fingerprint reader. I took out the two screws from the fingerprint reader and now I'm taking out the uh, front facing camera. Unscrewing a screw, holding the motherboard down, then the headphone jack as well as the charging port. So removing the headphone jack. Releasing the flex cable for the LCD, taking out the SIM card tray, and here we go. I am releasing the motherboard. Careful with the flex cable because those are delicate. And just easing that out. Great. So now I'm going to compare it to the new LCD screen, see if there are any. Um, parts that I'm missing that I need to remove from the base. Um, I think the only thing left is the battery. I ordered the the screen with a yellow frame instead. I'm using some alcohol to dissolve the glue on the battery because when I tried to pry it out it just wasn't lifting. So the alcohol does dissolve the glue a little bit and out pops the battery. So I have to replace the sticky tape and I'm using uh, double sided tape that's sold for this kind of these kind of phone repairs. <clears throat> right, now I'm removing some plastic, placing the motherboard back in. Making sure the charging port is snug and fit. And then reconnecting LCD as well as the um, fingerprint reader. It comes with its own fingerprint reader so I didn't have to use the old one. Reattaching the uh, front facing camera and then the headphone jack. Replacing the battery. So now I'm going to put the plastic bits over and just double check if everything is in working order before I screw everything back in. I had to charge it because um, the phone was out of juice basically. The battery was drained. And we have liftoff! Typing in the code to test some of the features of the phone just to make sure everything's okay. Checking front facing camera and the LCD screen if the touch function works fine. Now I'm replacing all the little screws and then the plastic bits again. And now all the screws to secure everything in place. I didn't film this part but I replaced the black glass with a brand new one and this time in the black shade although it doesn't really look black to me um, it's more of a kind of blue gray dark blue gray shade I also replaced the sim card tray with the same um, finish as the frame and voila so he really enjoys the form factor and it's still a good phone and all the data is already um, on there so yeah we just decided to go down this route
I got him a Spigen case. This is the Rugged Armor in black. Very basic, but it's good quality and he enjoys the feel of it. So there we go. Thanks for watching.